In our vlog, we're going to share with you our favorite things and places in Paris. Shopping, where to eat and drink. Art, culture, hidden gems of Paris and just interesting walks to avoid tourist crowds or popular things to do as well. Whether you live in Paris or if you just came here for the weekend, follow us and discover City of Lights with uh, to in Paris. <laughs> still wait we come like usually so it's uh, i think it's a uh, very usual how to say very comfortable <laughs> it was built in the middle of 19th century and we're taking the stairs because the elevator is very small <laughs> and we don't it's just afraid <laughs> maybe we can maybe we can show actually yeah yeah the elevator. it's not and you know very it's not useful. it's not a wardrobe it's elevator oh let's open my outfit for today. It hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> I deserve it, uh, light. Yeah. <laughs> Montmartre is one of Paris' most charming neighborhoods, full of cobblestone streets and beautiful buildings. It's known for its artistic history, Basilica of Sacré-Cœur, Cozy Café. We spent one day here, but we recommend it to you to come for two or three days if you have time. Look at this cute café. It's called Le Petit Paris, and it's super modern you can get any coffee you want I, or iced matcha latte macchiato avocado toast it's the perfect place for brunch Leanne, what do you want do you want coffee or matcha oh i like usually you know cappuccino with milk yes. such a meal so it's because sometimes it's not that easy to find a place that is not very very french but then you just want some food and a great coffee so this is the one of the best place with a great coffee in the market mm -hmm. So cute place. Nico, you start to be so French. <laughs> C'est délicieux. <laughs> Je préfère uh, avec soja. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Bonne journée. Today we're gonna show you one of the most charming areas of Paris filled with cobble streets as you see behind us, these beautiful streets, the medieval buildings, the beautiful architecture. It's Montmartre. It's, and many cars. <laughs> yes, it's 18th uh, district of Paris. There are 20 districts in Paris, which is in French called arrondissement. It's not the easy word, but it will come with the time and consider this location when you book your stay in Paris. And before Montmartre was a very little village, in here lived different painter, writer, um, like Picasso. A lot of artists, that's a lot true. Of artists. Modigliani, Renoir. Ah, Renoir, yes. And you know why? Because the rent was very low. And you know, I have a news. <laughs> One of us lived in here, it's Vika, <laughs> but <laughs> the rent is not low anymore, unfortunately. It's Paris. Wow, très très beau. My French start to be better, <laughs> but only me think like that. <laughs> oh, Victoria, we arrived in it's your place, you see. <laughs> the name of the street, Lepic, Rue, Rue Lepic, there is a car. Montmartre, it's truly one of the most picturesque areas in Paris. It's full of this cobbled street, so if you guys come in, don't wear, like, wear only comfortable boots, that's all. Without heels, please. <laughs> a lot of heels, we will be doing ups and downs for the time. So it's electric bike, uh, and you can take if you have a special car, to be honest, but it's uh, very easy to take. You must put like that. One, two, click. 
and uh, it's easy to ride. Uh, very easy to ride. She said to me, <laughs> she said to me, it's very easy to ride. This, this, the uh, cobble streets car. of Montmartre. Okay. So yes, if you're lazy, if you guys are lazy Why to walk. Every time I must do all of that. <laughs> Why? I was so sure we're gonna to see be. how it's walk. Wow. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, I'm gonna follow her. An example, but where is it? <laughs> so we can see one of the main sites of Montmartre, Sacré Cœur Basilica, and of course. It's always very crowded, the street leading to this church. Or as French people say, Très bon day. Very, very busy street. One of the symbols of Montmartre, the black cat, Le Chat Noir. There is Nana. Hi, I'm in so How are you, Nana? So many people, wow. And How so was tourists. taking uh, all this? I wasn't sure. <laughs> I forgot how to stop, you know. <laughs> Before it was more cool. <laughs> I'm in shopping in Maya. So for me, it's a very cool place. Little shopping. Good. I need this. How do you think what's a nice t-shirt? Paris or only black? I like Beret this. Beret Parisien. Wow. I like her much. Maybe I will take my noir. The black beret? Hmm, maybe something for the spring? For spring, but it is um, very hot. Like that. Me, the book. I think it's perfect. It's beautiful. Okay, I, I think you should take it. It yeah. fits you. I will. So we go? Like, we do. Accept well, it, yes. It's a vintage photo booth in Paris. Super old. Yeah, very old. So, one, two, three. So, I think it's ready to go. So many people outside. Guys, we just took a photo with Lena in the photo vintage photo booth in Paris. So, basically, you can immortalize your picture, the memories with your friends in black and white. So it's kind of cool and fun. And actually the first uh, photo machine was invented by Frenchmen, but the first photo booth, the way we see them now, the way we know them now, appeared on Broadway in 1925 in New York. So just an interesting fact for you. I found Lena. We it's keep me. walking. <laughs> There is a historic vineyard in the hill of Montmartre and it's the only wine producing vineyard in Paris. The wine is pricey, it's around 50 euros for a small bottle, but all the money goes to charity. Oh, I've never seen such a big wine cart, look at this, by glass, by bottle, by the region. There is a wine from Alsace, from Bordeaux, the best region of France. The bio wine, the bio dynamic wine, whatever you want. But I think we should ask this nice man for the recommendation. Excuse me, une petite question. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez recommander pour commencer? What would you see? Sauvignon blanc. Okay. And Sec, floral, magnifique. Um, Je préfère Sancerre, oui, c'est bon, non Alors, je, vous m'avez demandé une okay. recommandation. Maintenant, okay. si vous voulez du Sancerre, je sers du Sancerre. Okay. Vous m'avez demandé une recommandation. Non, nous allons suivre votre advice. Uh, the can see is really similar to Sancerre, but has a hint okay. of flowiness. A okay. bientôt, take care, okay. bienvenue, ciao, ciao. Deux verres. Uh, oui, madame. Oui, deux Sancerre. Merci. Deux Sancerre ou qu'un Oh, qu'un si, qu'un si, qu'un si. La Vie Belle, à Paris. This is for the oysters. Oui. Yes. But I will show you the way I build with oysters. I've never used the fork, but I'll show you on time. Oh, really? Okay. I'll be with you on the secret. Show... 
would arrive to Paris from the French shores, it would take time. So mm. they would smell. In order to hide away the smell, red wine, vinegar, and shallots. But these days, the fresh. So a little yeah. lemon, and that's it. Oh, that's oh. wow. The life hack for you. Yeah. You <laughs> so and what, what is this? Is it, it's mayonnaise, a, homemade. Okay. Homemade, homemade mayonnaise. Homemade mayonnaise, butter, and uh, seaweed. For the food, it is what connects the oysters to the shell. But often people use the fork and rip it away and leave it in the shell. I take the knife here, yeah, and you see, I cut it. Now we will learn how to do it properly mm -hmm. yeah. at home. And these oysters, they came from Normandy? Exactly. Oh my God. The best region for the oysters. Best region, you know what, is where the best heart is. And the best hearts are everywhere. So when you have a good hand and a good heart to yeah. rise those oysters properly, you have the results. Mm -hmm. Madame, you enjoy it. Okay, okay. merci. So, you talk to us. We must to take only a little bit lemon. of lemon. Yes. And voila. And he said to do this like this, without the and small work. fork. <laughs> okay, again. We need a bit more time. <laughs> so, I can let's wait try. to try huh? this sunjack as well. It's mm. good. Mm. It's very, very good. It's Wow. Mm. And what else we have? We have a crevette. We have mussels, so it's a small, we ordered a small seafood plate, uh, which costed 35 euro. It's a good price for Paris. Yeah. We really love this place. So now we're in a very cool place, it's vintage shop, and me, I'm already buy the new coat, new trench. Um, How for, much did you pay? I paid 20 euro, yeah. Wow, I can Not believe. bad, yeah? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, we will open all secrets maybe in the next episode. So we will um, show to you more with the shop. If you want, um, type in commentary. If be honest, what if it's uh, really interesting for you. Le cabaret de la Pomme Blanche, the White Rabbit Cabaret, possibly one of the most famous cabaret in the world. Once a place for artists, writers, it still offers live music show almost every night. English-speaking people are welcome, but keep in mind that all the cabaret shows are done completely in French. Do you want to go inside? Oui, oui. There is a happy hour, by the way. Eat five euros and cocktail with six. This movie is brilliant. The famous movie with Audrey Dorno was shot here like what, 20 years ago, and since that it has become a super popular touristic place. But still worse having at least a glass of wine, maybe not eating. But it's open all day long, you can eat, you can drink, and Lena told me that it was a pretty piano. Yeah, wait. It's not there. But it still has a charm. Paris Saint Pierre is a museum with contemporary art, hosting artworks with young artists. There is a library with beautiful books and posters. Just walk some time, we can do that. Yes. We'll be tired <laughs> after taking the stairs, taking the wine, not the nice people. <laughs> Mademoiselle Raymond, really? that's the name of the restaurant, a typical French bistro where we're going to have our late lunch. 
It's not the lunch hours here, so it's very rare that you can find a place to eat like it's this. It's very cool. It's very cool. We can eat still, you know. Very Usually it's so close. Going. We're gonna see the menu, and of course, we're gonna order a glass of wine, as all the French people do that <laughs> for the lunch. Wait. So we'll wait our lunch, our food, very cool light in here. <laughs> and after we will go somewhere and you will see later. Okay, we're gonna show you our favorite favorite places in Munmak. So Vika already took um, a salad, very little, I don't know, I think she will stay hungry really. <laughs> Very small portion, it's obviously not enough. I ordered salat niçoise. Originally it came from Nice, that's why it's niçoise. But look at this, it's like what I usually put for four people at home. In here is the biggest uh, stairs in Montmartre. It's like, uh, I think, uh, 200 steps. It's very good for shapes, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but uh, if, if you're honest, you can go not uh, by uh, the stairs, you can go in another way and you will see how. Maybe it's Let's more easy. <laughs> Courage, courage, Lena. Oh, We're no. gonna take one of a few stairs leading to Montmartre, to Sacré Coeur. Of course, you can go by feet, by metro, but you also can take the stairs. <sighs> so many steps everywhere, to be honest. Oh, you have very cool shoes, I like. <laughs> So now uh, we in place uh, what I really like because uh, it's um, because uh, in here it's local designer and Lena but it's called la boulangerie mm -hmm. but it's not uh, the croissant no the... <laughs> no the <Because>? croissant <laughs> no not that no really because uh, to be honest we're walking now and they see uh, very interesting outfit and I like really let's yeah. try to see let's what they like no? I like something interesting because it's a little bit crazy, but you know, really in here you can find something very strange, but it can, be, it can be interesting for the kids, yes, it's my size. <laughs> Restaurant. Let's see. Lena's gonna take a look at the menu. Let's see if it's expensive or not. Usually, you have to book in advance to be able to sit at a place like this. But it looks like there is not a lot of people now. So this is my favorite place in Montmartre. It's, this is an uh, artist uh, square where um, the people can paint and uh, do different pictures. <laughs> I don't know, for me it's very cute because I love art. And, uh, Maybe we're gonna do one portrait for Lena today. Yeah, you know. I would love to do but In French, this square is called Place du Tertre. We're gonna show you guys how you can spell it as well and you, they can paint your portrait and this is tradition since the 19th century i suppose when all the famous artists who lived in Montmartre would come here 
to express their creativity. Uh, you know, me, I really like Instagram and all social media, so this is place, it's really um, one of the popular Instagram spots and actually in here, one of the episodes, Emily in Paris, uh, was shoot in here, in this street, and uh, they was in bike, yes? Yes, they, they were. <laughs> My favorite place in Montmartre, <laughs> one of the favorite places because it's all about love in uh, different languages. People in general, um, uh, you can come and write your name and the name of your loved one. You can take a picture with with your soulmate. You have. <laughs> Thank you.